at the horses competing in the open trot at the Red Mile. Number one is Can Holly. Michelle Lachance gets the call from Jerry Logan. Two is Armbro Rotary. And it's John Campbell in the bike for trainer Chucky Sylvester. And from post three, she's homeward bound. That's Dan Shetler, who is in charge of both training and driving, currently at odds of eight to one. Next in line is Kicktail. He's odds on at two to five. Burnt Lindstedt is in the bike for trainer Jan Janssen. And we complete the small field with number five, Sierra Crown. Luke Ouellette gets the call from trainer Michael Burke. So we have five open trotters going into this one for a purse of 28400 Race two from the Red Mile. And famous, of course, because of Brett Hanover. And here they come in the Irvin Lake Closer for Trotters. Race two. They're often trotting between horses. Kick tail for the lead on the inside. Can Holly will get away second. Dropped in third as they drive now toward the turn. And race to the quarter is Armbro Rotary. On the outside, backing up, finding cover against the rail. Sierra Crown fourth. And the trailer is She's Homeward Bound. Field being led by Kick Tail, who won over a half million dollars last year, one of the premier free for allers in North America. He's on top for Bernie Lindstedt by three as he idles toward the quarter mile station. Behind him, Ken Holly from Illinois, second, racing third against the rail, Armbro Rotary. They race past that mark 28 4, headed now down the backstretch. On the inside, dropped in fourth, Sierra Crown still there. And the Indiana champion, Mare, she's homeward bound, and Shetler trail the field, approaching the half mile mark. Leading the way, kick tail, the Sierra Cosmos four-year-old and lynched at by just two lengths. A closer second now as they reach the half will be Can Holly. Eight lengths off the lead, now nine lengths back. Armbro Rotary is rough-gated for Campbell and passing him to the outside, now moving up third, Sierra Crown. Next is she's homeward bound, Armbro Rotary having trouble and Campbell trying to nurse him past the half. And 56-4, they're in the upper turn and leading the way, kick tail, and he can't get away from Ken Holly. Ken Holly stalks him second, that five-year-old mare is very much in contention, and they're leaving the field behind as they race now past the draw gate. Kick tail and lynched it. Wait for the challenge. It hasn't come yet. Ken Holly has a shot. She's two lengths off the lead. They're past the three quarter and 125 three top of the lane. Kick tail, winner of the World Trotting Derby a year ago, leads them by two lengths. And behind him, Ken Holly trying to reach, but not gaining ground. In fact, she's losing. She's back now three lengths. Racing third through the stretch toward the wire is Sierra Crown. As they trot home, it belongs to Kick tail and lynched it. In complete control, looks back now and sees Ken Holly three lengths off the lead, but not closing. They trot to the wire. Kicktail is going to win it for Bernie Lynchstedt. Kicktail picks up his third win of the season. Ken Holly, a good second. Under the wire third was Sierra Crown, finishing four. She's homeward bound. And Armbro Here's a look at Kicktail in the winner's circle, winning in 156 and 1, a four year old son of Sierra Cosmos, owned by the Arden Homestead Stable, trained by Jan Janssen, driven capably to victory by Burnt Linstead. So Kicktail winning his third of the season out of eight starts this year.